Hello, welcome to Clarity Design. Uh, this is the second tutorial just to help uh, people get started with uh, drawing things for a laser cutter or for CNC machining. And uh, in the last tutorial, we covered some of the basic tools. Uh, what I've done here is I've just clicked on this and held it down to pick up some of the more advanced drawing tools that we might have or we might want to use, um, particularly things like chamfering um, and joining together multiple lines uh, at once when you draw a line. So I've got grid lock switched on and instead of having to click twice at each point I'm now clicking once and double clicking to finish um, and if I want to go back to my other tool I just click and hold pick that up and I can continue with drawing as I was before it's exactly the same under each of these you'll find different ways of drawing um, and if you um, right click uh, you'll be able to get up your different uh, different um, sizes or angles and whatever and be able to set a size very accurately um, we go um, and then if effectively I've got a stamp so I can make identical shapes really easily um, so there's some uh, slightly more advanced drawing tools that will help you control what's happening and remember that if you ever make a mistake or anything you've always got the edit so you can start an edit you can pick up points um, and you can uh, you can edit those points as as you wish okay um, and that edit um, so uh, there's another neat trick that Texel 2D Design's got up its sleeve, and that's to do with bitmaps. Bitmaps are images like uh, photographs, so anything that's a JPEG or anything that's come from a camera. Um, and when you import a bitmap into here, um, it uh, brings brings up a, a, a basic menu. Um, normally, you can just leave these as they are uh, and not worry about it. Um, and click OK. Now that's put a picture in, but you can see these purple lines that are going across. This is the path that it thinks it's going to take at the moment with a laser. So if we were going to use this at the moment, it would literally go back and forward as if it's a black square and hatch across it um, and tear our piece of material to pieces. Um, so it's not very helpful as it is. What we need to do is we need to tell the computer to um, vectorize, and I'm going to do this because it takes a minute to load. Um, uh, we sorry, just vectorize and then click on it, and it will load the menu. Um, and vectorizing is where it's going to analyze the colors um, that we have, and it's going to separate them down, and then it's going to draw lines outside each color block. So what it's doing at the moment is it's analyzing the uh, image that we've got there, and it's separating out the colors. Right now we can choose which colors we want to keep and which ones can go. So I can actually get rid of all those blues, which will leave me with uh, most of this. Um, jellyfish ready to go um, and I can remove again I can remove some of those colors down so I can make it I can simplify it in this method let's pull it up a little bit from there so let's just get something nice there yeah there we go so I'm just going to get rid of all these blues that are in the background and that's just going to leave me with one or two colors that actually if that was cut out it would make a, a, a really nice um, or if it was engraved it would make a really nice engraving on a surface there so when you click OK that's not quite finished so we've made our selection of color but now we need to or we can if we want we can um, change the jagged edge so we can smooth things down a little bit more um, and you can play around with these settings until you get the image that you want out the other end um, so we're going to keep it um, fairly fairly low in terms of the pixels and I'm going to click OK and we'll see how that works so there we go so I've got my image now you'll notice that if I select it I've still got that cross hatching but it's now not a big square um, and that cross hatching is indicating that this has got fill on it so if I go to the fill here and I click no fill um, I've now got the outline edge and I can get the color of that edge to be the same as the rest of my drawing so it gets cut with the rest of my drawing um, and there I've got uh, from an image two vectors that can be cut out on uh, or engraved on the surface of something. Um, so I hope that was useful and uh, gives you some more creative options to play around with and um, uh, yeah so I suppose the only other thing to be aware of is that when we learn how to do the uh, the laser cutting itself and the engraving and such like uh, that you bear in mind that the more of these lines you take the longer it's going to take to manufacture whatever it is you've chosen to draw. Okay you've been listening to Clarity Design thank you very much.